congratulations on the EP. I've been listening to it all weekend. It's an absolutely fantastic EP, so congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. So I have to ask, where where did the idea come from to go back and reimagine some of your tracks during the COVID period? So the thing is, it's actually very simple because, you know, we weren't able to promote the album. We released an album last year in June. It was called Rape Illusions. So... We couldn't actually promote it live, you know, with, with all the restrictions, so no live at all. We just did some uh, streamings online, but, you know, it was more the time we we met together and, you know, we, re- we realized we, it was, we needed something, something more to, to give to the uh, our listeners. And... Uh, that uh, merged with the fact that uh, we <laughs> we watched a lot of films. <laughs> you know, in lockdown, there's you know nothing you can do apart from watching films and play music. Honestly, for us, so we were we actually we are fan of film music. So we we you know what we are actually going to yeah let's try this. Let's try to rearrange some of the songs uh, in this cinematic way. And let's see what happened. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's the the main reason. So how heartbreaking was that for you both to have an album come out and then not be able to go out and promote it? Was that pretty heartbreaking? Well, that was very, very painful. Because I think that during our live sessions, and for me it was... Honestly, painful. Well, for the both of us, because you know, yeah. we actually before the the all the COVID thing, we we had some um, live uh, gigs already planned, his party gig. Uh, but uh, we, you know, when the COVID happened, we thought, okay, maybe this going to finish in June, but eventually it didn't. So. Uh, yeah, and all the work, all the effort, you know, for uh, looking for festivals. Uh, that at vanished. The end, yeah, everything vanished. Yeah, everything was, vanished. was a year of work went to smoke. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but honestly, yeah, we just realized it's what it is. So we it's, decided, yeah, it's better. Yeah. That we still doing something, doing something. Yep. And what's it like there now? Um, we're kind of in a weird phase at the moment where there's not any COVID out in the community, but the government's still kind of wary about opening everything back up. So, But it does look like we might have live music in the next couple of months. Where is it at for you there at the moment? Well, here is way worse than, uh, than there, I think. Because yeah. we have still a lot of uh, uh, casualties yeah and uh, a lot of uh, infections so I think I think oh actually I hope that we're gonna reopen everything after the summer I think yeah, yeah. we got at the moment we got very first gig uh, in April that we don't know if we are going to be able to do it then we got festivals in uh, Summer, may yeah. june uh, july august yeah uh, you know because they they keep on saying that they don't know yet so they will tell us in the next few months but yeah yeah it, yeah it is what it is yeah yeah and uh, if you complain it doesn't change nothing so We'll see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it's still like that here as well. Like, it goes from day to day. I, we, My wife and I went on a holiday recently to Queensland, and the day before we were due to fly out, we were kind of worried that they were going to close the borders again because there'd been a couple of outbreaks. So it's it's the same here. It, it just goes from day to day, really. Yeah. Yeah. So bringing it back to the EP... How did you pick which songs that you wanted to sit down and reimagine? And then how did you go through that process then to change those songs? 
Okay, I can speak about one of them, that is Mars X, because we wanted to release a single from the album that was Mars X. And, Great Illusions. Yeah. Uh, from Great Illusion, yeah, that was Mars X. And because we cannot do another release of the same song on Spotify, so we decided to reimagine the song and to release uh, a video that is going to be out. out on the 12th or 15th, or 15th of February. Yep. And so this is why we choose Mars. Uh, Perfect Love, uh, it was already something that we were doing live uh, when we can go like uh, just with an acoustic set. So we're doing an acoustic version of Perfect Love already, but then we, we realized we could add some uh, electro beats, you know, yep. something like that. And, and for The War Is Calling Me, it's something I had in mind uh, for a bit. And uh, I, it's the, the reason I, I told you before is just because I really wanted to, uh, I, th- I, I feel that song really, uh, um, you know, really tells you the, the, the feeling that of the lyrics in the cinematic version. And I think it's more powerful than the original, even than the original one. Yeah, it got that drama feeling. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. And how difficult was it to put together th- uh, these tracks with the lockdown? Because I know here a lot of musicians turn to recording at home and things like that. How difficult was it to actually record these tracks and also do a video as well? Well, uh, for the recording, actually, it was pretty simple because I just uh, I just set up a studio in my house. So... Uh, you know, we just did everything at home. I mixed it, I rearranged it, and it was easy. Yeah. And the video uh, is an animated video. I draw the animation for the video. I animated the video so for my sex. For my sex. And uh, Perfect Love, uh, it was filmed uh, before. No, no, it was, uh, no, it was I think, uh, September. Yeah, before was the second lockdown. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. So, and... And you um, worked with producer Paul Reeve. Tell us a little bit about Paul and what you feel he brings to your music. Hmm. That's a good question. Yeah, well, uh, I think we have to be so great, grateful to Paul for the help he, he gave us because, I mean, when we went to the studio, the songs were pretty much defined. You know, they, they were basically almost like they are now but especially for the vocals the, the, the vocal lines the melody and lyrics uh, they I don't know now they have what they were missing before so it, he helped us a lot uh, reaching the vibe we wanted to give to the to each song yeah like uh, the song not all the things before the lyrics were very different and Paul, uh, I remember during, yeah, I think it was the second session at, at the studio, he said, guys, I think this lyric really doesn't work on this song. Can you come with something different? And we were struggling on that song to write something that were that was good. So I remember that night, I just stay awake all night, and I said, okay, I have to sell something that is mine, that is really mine, to let it work. And so I just started to write these things down and the day after Paul was very happy about that and I think without his uh, advice advice, probably we in but even for instance for the same song not all the things even the guitar was different you know oh yeah we were working on that riff with the guitar and yeah I mean his work was astonishing I think yeah yeah what a producer has to, to basically is to deliver your creative power into something that can be pleasant and, and unique and unique and right and I think this is exactly what it did 
Yeah, definitely. And Luca's artwork, that this artwork that I'm looking at right now looks absolutely amazing. It looks like something I'd like hanging on my wall. Tell us a little bit about what your reaction was when you first saw the artwork for the EP. Uh, okay. Uh, I was, uh, in, during first lockdown, I bought this uh, tablet. It's a graphic tablet. So I started because, uh, obviously before I used to draw on paper. And so I started to experimenting. Uh, I always been, uh, a comic fan. And so I said, okay, considering that this is going to be cinematic, uh, so, Probably if, if we include in the artwork some uh, comic books and reference to Marsex and reference to Marsex. Yeah. And so I started to make some uh, experiments. And at the end, when I tried these uh, colors from uh, comics from the 50s, 60s, uh, we decided, okay, we like that. So let's make like the artwork of the be like that and we can match the video yep and so the mars video will be on the same uh genre awesome work and of course the other big talking point about this ep as well is the cover um hurt by nine inch nails nine inch nails are a band i absolutely love so tell us a little bit about why you chose that song and how difficult was it to then do that song, but make it sound like a Shape of Water song. Okay. Honestly, Hurt was a song that I always been in love with because I always felt it a little bit mine. But so just, uh, I don't know if that song is sung by by Luca, so it's the only song of EP that Luca yeah, sing. Yep. And this song was recorded a lot before all the rest of the EP. So it was a song that we already had and we decided at the end to release it with EP just because fun. basically we have it. Yeah. But I thought it was to rearrange it. Uh, Actually not really difficult because we, I remember we were in the rehearsal room so a couple of years ago almost. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you started with the riff, the yeah. riff, and then... We just played basically. Yeah. This is the way it, it comes the first time and so... Yeah, really, really simple, very easy. <laughs> we didn't work that much on that song, honestly. <laughs> well, guys, it sounds amazing, and I know we are running out of time, so to finish off, I'll just ask, what would you like to say to your Australian fans out there before they go out and grab a copy of this EP? Well, um, first of all, thank you very much for listening to us and for supporting us every day, and uh, we wish to see you all this year. Or, uh, you know, and most of all, enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> well, guys, thank you so much for coming on the show today. It's been an absolute pleasure. And stay safe. And we can't <laughs> wait to see you in Australia sometime later in the year. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Finger crossed, man. <laughs> Definitely. Fingers crossed. Thanks a lot, guys. Um, stay safe and we'll talk soon. You too, thank man. you so much. Thank you. All right. Bye. Have a good day. Night. You too. Bye. <laughs> Yeah.